So welcome back to another edition of Your Tasty Life TV. I am absolutely honored and thrilled today to be sharing some videos with you with my nearest and dearest friend, mentor, spiritual mother, Dr. Cindy Soliday. And I want to take a moment here just to thank Cindy publicly for all that she's been to me in my life and my journey. The reason I'm sitting here right now talking to you is because of this woman. So I want to thank you for all you've done for me. You are more than welcome, but you are sitting here today on this couch with me because of all that you do. But thank you so much for that beautiful She's my biggest supporter. I love this woman dearly. I so, love you too. And I couldn't think of a better person I wanted to invite in to share some knowledge and information with our Your Tasty Life folks at home regarding adding more bliss to your life. You are the perfect person to talk about this topic. And one topic I wanted to get into right away was this whole notion about using food for other reasons. And you taught me a number of years ago mm -hmm. that food isn't the problem, it's mm -hmm. the solution. So mm -hmm. could you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, this has been a very common misnomer in the work that we've done together with, uh, especially women over the years. Um, that we get so fixated and focused on the fact that we need to change what we're eating because food is the problem. But as we know and as we've discussed, actually food is your solution. It's not the problem. In other words, food is how you're actually solving perhaps other problems in your life. And the key to a healthier nutrition and a healthier life that leads to bliss mm -hmm is to begin to uncover, discover, and resolve, Lisa, mm -hmm. what the real underlying causes and conditions are related to your real problems. Mm -hmm. So what have you noticed, Dr. Cindy, in your years of counseling folks, mm -hmm. um, what does food represent for people? What do they use it for if it's not for nourishment? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I think we all could agree and understand now that food is medicine, mm -hmm. and uh, lots of people are self-medicating, and that's kind of self-defeating in some ways, especially when you're using a lot of the food that we kind of classify as sad, mm -hmm. which is part of the standard American diet, right? Sure. And uh, as we know now, a lot of the foods that we're eating in that kind of nutrition plan are really chemically laden with um, substances and chemicals that act as a high in our mm -hmm. brain. In fact, there's a lot that you could speak to in that regard mm -hmm. as it relates to some of the things that we're digesting that are going straight to our brain and acting as opioids. So mm -hmm. we're kind of eating to get a high like a lot of other drug addicts use, right? Cocaine mm -hmm. or um, opiates or alcohol or whatever it is. So, I mean, um, food is definitely a drug mm -hmm. and you can use it as such so we can apply any other drug addiction or addiction based mm -hmm. um, ideology to this part of life I as well. I love that you say that, that you give women this um, validation mm -hmm. that it can be used as a drug, right? Mm -hmm. Because we look at smoking as differently or alcoholism mm -hmm. as differently or gambling or whatever mm -hmm. the addiction may be. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of like viewed, well, you're just lazy. You don't have control if you can't handle your food habits. Mm -hmm. And what you're validating is there is true science to back up Tons food addiction and how it acts on our brain. Right. right. That we're not trying to be bad. We may right. not have control over this. Right, and then when you lose the ability to control your choices, then you're in a vicious cycle that is kind of like an abusive cycle, like a toxic relationship. And make no mistake about it also, it really is all about relationships, mm -hmm. relationships within ourselves as, I like to say, spiritual beings having a human experience and in our mind, body, and spirit. But our relationship with food is also vitally important in our overall health and well-being. And if you've gotten into a toxic relationship with food, mm -hmm. right, then you need, again, to begin to really discover the dynamics associated with that, um, both internally and externally, if you really want to make a difference in your life. I used to say, ladies um, mm -hmm. and gentlemen, years ago when we worked together at mm -hmm. another healthcare uh, facility, I offered a group that I used to call my fat group. And it was capital F-A-T. And some people were kind of offended by that. But, you know, let, let's get real. We're all talking about fat. Mm -hmm. and we're all worried about fat. And it's all about fat, fat, fat. But for me, at that time and still to this day, fat represents food addiction in need of treatment. 
So if you're fat and you're not sure why and you've tried everything else, then you might want to explore that possibility as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. So there's great insight and information here today. Where could folks, if they're listening or watching this, find more information about Dr. Cindy? You know, where, where could they get in touch with you? Uh, well, um, I have my own private practice mm -hmm. and uh, my business name is Mind Body Solutions. So that's Mind-Body Solutions spelled with an extra U, S-O-U-L-U-T-I-O-N-S. Mm -hmm. And that's because I really believe in the mind-body-soul connection. So you can check out my website. Um, you could just Google my name, Dr. Cindy Soliday, and there are lots of different web directories and other things that would get you in contact with me. If you just want to call me, 262 327 6381, and I'd be happy to be of support to you on your journey. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Cindy. This has been really enlightening. Thanks again for tuning in.